I don't know anymore. I used to know, but I lost the knowledge a long time ago. There are still a few men who love desperately. I am always saying glad to have met you. To somebody I'm not at all glad I met. If you want to stay alive, you have to say that stuff though. I'm sick of just liking people. I wish to God I could meet somebody I could respect. Make sure you marry someone, who laughs at the same things you do. Don't tell people what you are thinking, or you will miss them terribly when you are away. Goddamn money. It always ends up making you blue as hell. You never even hear any hints dropped on a campus, that wisdom is supposed to be the goal of knowledge. I like it when somebody gets excited about something. It's nice. I'm a kind of paranoiac in reverse. I suspect people of plotting to make me happy. An artist's only concern is to shoot for some kind of perfection, and on his own terms. The fact is always obvious much too late, but the most singular difference between happiness and joy, is that happiness is a solid and joy a liquid. Certain things should stay the way they are. You ought to be able to stick them in one of those big glass cases, and just leave them alone. The mark of the immature man is that he wants to die nobly for a cause, while the mark of the mature man, is that he wants to live humbly for one. That's the whole trouble. You can't ever find a place that's nice and peaceful, because there isn't any. You may think there is, but once you get there, when you're not looking, somebody will sneak up and write fuck you right under your nose. It would be very nice to come home and be in the wrong house. To eat dinner with the wrong people by mistake, sleep in the wrong bed by mistake, and kiss everybody goodbye in the morning, thinking they were your own family. I thought what I'd do was, I'd pretend I was one of those deaf mutes, if anybody wanted to tell me something, they'd have to write it on a piece of paper and shove it over to me. They'd get bored as hell doing that after a while, and then I'd be through with having conversations for the rest of my life. I'm just sick of ego. My own and everybody else's. I'm sick of everybody that wants to get somewhere, do something distinguished, 
and be somebody interesting. What really knocks me out is a book that when you're all done reading it, you wish the author that wrote it was a terrific friend of yours, and you could call him up on the phone whenever you felt like it. That doesn't happen much though. That's the thing about girls. Every time they do something pretty, even if they're not much to look at, or even if they're sort of stupid, you fall half in love with them, and then you never know where the hell you are. Girls. They can drive you crazy. They really can. Among other things, you'll find that you're not the first person who was ever confused and frightened, and even sickened by human behavior. You're by no means alone on that score, you'll be excited and stimulated to know. Many men have been just as troubled morally and spiritually as you are right now. Happily, some of them kept records of their troubles. You'll learn from them, if you want to. Just as someday, if you have something to offer, someone will learn something from you. It's a beautiful reciprocal arrangement. And it isn't education. It's history. It's poetry. <laughs>